Now joining us in the studio to break down the weekend events, please welcome Likud Party Knesset member Sharen Haskel. Thank you so much for uh, coming Hello, back. Welcome good back. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's start right now with uh, the rockets and the, and the security situation down south. Uh, right now, Benny Gantz, as we heard earlier, is saying we should return to targeted assassinations. Uh, is he speaking, you know, like a strong man to project strength uh, ahead of you know negotiations uh, for the coalition, or is he? Does he really mean it? And do you think that's the right way to go? Look, it, it, it's a serious question. And unfortunately, we will not know until he, he is in a position to make those decisions. Mm -hmm. And that's part of a problem with, uh, you know, uh, electing a prime minister that has never served in the parliament before. Obviously, he served in the military. And we are very grateful for his service in the military. Um, but we don't know how he is going to act as a leader. We don't know what kind of decision he is going to make. We don't know whether he's talking or whether he's the type of person who's in action. Well, do you think that that would be a mistake to go back to that sort of uh, deterrence? Look, to be honest, um, uh, we're dealing with a very difficult situation. I sit in the Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee. Um, we have a specific, a, a special opportunity right now to hit Hamas hard, and we need to hit them where it hurts. We need to hurt, to hurt them on the personal level, in their personal assets, and we also need to hit them with their strategic assets, Hamas strategic assets. Um, it's a special time right now because some of the force that's backing Hamas are Iran, obviously. Sure. Iran is pretty busy at the moment with huge events that are happening at the moment. One of them is in Iraq. Uh, probably you've seen a lot of demonstrations, uh, Shi'i forces that are shooting, uh, demonstrated without any weapons. Uh, many people are being killed there. And that's targeted towards Iran influence and Iran, Iran's corruptions in Iraq. The second front that they're dealing with is with Hezbollah in Lebanon. Huge demonstration going out about the corruptions of Nasrallah and of Hezbollah there, which is keeping Iran very busy. But at the same time, be careful. That message from Hamas is a straight message from Iran trying to uh, release some pressures from those side and put the focus back in Israel. But I, want, but I want to bring the focus to a different Iranian proxy right now that was kind of capturing attention over the weekend, and that's the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. Uh, one of one of the leaders of this group, uh, Baha Abu al Atta, who is largely suspected of orchestrating these latest attacks uh, and many others like it. Again, aside, setting aside the fact that Israel holds Hamas responsible for anything that goes on in the Strip because Hamas is the uh, governing power there, why not also uh, target Palestinian Islamic Jihad and the perpetrators. Absolutely. I think this is a very uh, sensitive and a very good strategic time for Israel. Because Iran is so busy on all of these fronts, when their proxies are sort of like starting to be destabilized, this is a great time for Israel to, to military operate to neutralize their powers and their proxies particularly on our borders mm. and also in the Gaza Strip. I'm talking about the Jihad, I'm talking about Hamas as well. Um, and so that's why tomorrow, obviously, we have a, a party meetings as well. This is one of the things that I'm going to raise with the Prime Minister, Netanyahu, too. Um, and also in a special discussion that we have in the Defense uh, uh, Committee, these are some of the issues that will we'll definitely I'll, I'll raise them there as well. Okay, so I, I don't want to bring the conversation now towards the coalition uh, negotiations. Right now, Benny Gantz, uh, leader of the Blue and White, he just sat down uh, for landmark meetings, really, with the Arab joint list. Uh, there are a lot of rumors that he is inviting them either to become supporters uh, of Blue and White as you know for, for leadership or, or maybe even join the coalition. What do you think about that? Well, I'm, I'm worried, and I think that most Israeli citizens are really worried. I mean, it's one thing when we do have, uh, you know, minorities representations in the Knesset, in the Likud party as well, in many other parties. Uh, we had a Druze minister in the last government as well. It's not a matter of a racial or religious issues, but it's an issue that the Arab parties are parties who they actually support terrorists. 
they actually support the annihilation of the state of Israel as we see it today. And to join a coalition, an Israeli coalition that is based on their vote makes me very anxious and very worried about what can happen tomorrow here in Israel. And it's not just me, it's most Israeli citizens. All right, well, we'll have to wait and see. Unfortunately, we have another uh, two weeks left before Gantz uh, loses his mandate to form the coalition. Sharon Askel, thank you so much again for coming in. Thanks a lot.